Here's what's happening in our neck of the galaxy. My favorite story of the day, a three month Mars trip, new trajectory could change everything. Forget what you thought you heard about Mars taking nearly a year to reach. A new study suggests SpaceX Starship might be able to get to Mars in just three months using only existing technology, technology that we already have here at the plant. So there's this physics researcher at UC Santa Barbara. His name is Jack Kingdon, and he ran a computer model, and he found a faster way to get to Mars without waiting for a nuclear-powered rocket to be invented. His best-case scenario launches in April of 2033, gets to Mars in three months and brings the crew home by summer 2035. So how does this work? The idea is simple, but the math is complex. What you do is you take advantage of planetary alignments and smart flight plans. The Starship could pull off a shortcut, but only if it's fully fueled in space and the stars align. The planet, me this means that launching 15 separate tankers just to fill up one ship. So once it gets to Mars, the crew would have to make fuel on the surface from water and carbon dioxide before, before flying back. What's on the way? Starship still has to prove that it can fly and not crash. That's a big one. <laughs> I, I really don't mean to laugh, but yes, that is a big one. Um, that just make sure that Starship can fly too. We've actually never built a gas station on another planet before. <laughs> So we have to do that too. And three, the Martian atmosphere is thin and hitting it too fast could be deadly. So it's very dangerous. And people who are doing this are risking their lives truly for the sake of humanity. So why does this matter? This changes the game. Shorter trips means less radiation exposure, less time in zero gravity, which keeps astronauts healthier. It also means we don't need to wait decades for futuristic nuclear engines. We could actually go sooner, maybe this decade, if the hardware gets there. This is awesome. I really want to see humans go to Mars in my lifetime. I also want to go to Mars. So send me, pick me, I will go.